All right, so season four, aka Leisure Lagoon of the Treasure Track is almost done. By the time this is being uploaded, it should be about four days from ending, so it is very close. And that means the start of season five is going to be quite soon as well. Now, I had my own doubts about season five actually happening um, soon. Like, like, I knew it was going to happen, but I thought maybe it would get, you know, postponed because of the release of the Dragon Isle that is happening right around the same time. But no, I just, I have just gotten confirmation that season five, the next season of the Treasure Track, will be taking place soon after season four ends. And it will be happening at around the same time as the Dragon Isle releases. So maybe around the middle, uh, the 15th. It should be somewhere around the 15th or somewhat before that, maybe. We'll have to just see. You know, it might be somewhere right before or right after that. I don't know. But anyway, confirmation is that Season 5 of the Treasure Track will be happening next. Right after Season 4 ends. As usual, it is not being postponed because of the Dragon Isle. That is official. Now, what could Season 5 be? We usually will get some leaks about what some of the items are that are coming to it. Um, sometime before it is released, we usually get that. But right now, we really don't know anything. And... Since we don't know anything, I'm going to throw out a guess, a logical guess, and say that this next Treasure Track season is going to be focused on the back to school season, as that is what Prodigy does nearly every August, as they, they make a big update, like, around the August time frame. The big Puppet Master update was last, uh, the end of July. The Dragon Isle is coming out in August. So big back to school updates like these are normal, even though they don't usually have anything to do with going back to school. Um, there's just a lot of activity when people go back to school and they do other things though, usually that um, promotes back to school, such as the August 2023 member box last year that had back to school themed items. And so, I'm just going to predict that this is going to be a back-to-school season. Now, I'm really not sure, like, w how many... Like, I don't know if there are enough items to go along with back-to-school. Not all of them have to, like, necessarily go along with each other. But, um, I, I, that makes the most sense to me for a next season, especially in August. Um... But let's just try to, like, see, um, I don't know if it will be one or two months. It may be two. I'm just going to throw out there that it's two, like, normal. And, well, if it's back to school, it'll probably be one. Actually, I'm not sure. So, I'm assuming, if it's one, it's probably going to be more like this latest treasure track that we are almost through with right now. Like, the, the point system being the way it is. Still with 30 treasures and 30 treasures on each one. Um, I think it's going to be similar to the way this is. But if not, then it may be the two months and it may be back to how it was with uh, Season 3, Melodic Mayhem. Who knows? I'm really not sure. But um, I guess let's talk about some of the items that I am predicting are going to be in Season 5 of the Treasure Track. So, this might be entirely wrong. Like, just know I might be getting this 100% wrong because if this is not back to school, if this is not a back to school themed season, then most of these items would not be in there. So, first off, I'm going to say that we are going to be getting the re release of um, the school bus buddy and the school cubby. Uh, or, yeah, I think it's the school cubby. Yeah, the school cubby furniture item. I think we are going to be seeing both of those be re-released from the August 2023 member box. I think those are going to be appearing in this treasure track. That's certainly what I kind of expect from that. If it's a back to school. If not, again, I really don't know. Um, 
there really aren't many items here. Um, let's see. Um, hopefully we get, like, you know, one or two new mounts. That would be great to have two. So, like, what could a, what could a good mount idea be? Um, ha, a pencil. That would be pretty funny. A pencil mount or a paper. Who knows? I don't, I have no clue. Um, they really could do anything, but, like, these are very, these are going to be more, a lot more generic predictions that I would usually do, because we don't know a theme for the season yet, so, yeah, I, I, these are going to just be generic predictions. As for a mythical epic, I do not think we are going to be getting, um, the... Shadow Vegabloom variant this time. I think it's going to be in a treasure track that is around the October month. As October, Spooky, Shadow, that makes sense. So I'm thinking that's when we're going to be getting that one. So probably a mythical epic like maybe Luminite here. I don't know. That's just a guess. It may or may not be. We're just going to have to wait and see. Um, Let's see new member box items so we can i guess assume that there are going to be new member box items so maybe like one or two new items or three or four i don't know however many new items that um would have been i assume in member boxes if they were not put in the treasure track and i think that also that's also going to apply for ultimate member rewards so whatever would have been in an, in an ultimate member box um, before this, I think that could be a new variant of a pet. We should be seeing at, like one of those, a new variant of a pet. Um, I really have no idea what would what it could be. I really want a Saplet variant or a Burnute variant, of course. Those are ones I've talked about in the past. Those would be super cool. And I would also... You know, like to see like a re-release of a pet, um, special pet, something like that. Um, I, it really, it really is hard to tell. I don't expect Stormy Squawks to be in there because Stormy Squawks should be rescuable inside of the Dragon Isle. So as long as that is, though the pets are still rescuable, you should be able to get Stormy Squawks in there. So I don't expect it to be in a treasure track season but who knows they could do that the only other thing that i have to talk about i think is pet gear i can we can assume there's going to probably be at least a few different pieces of pet gear the only one i can really say i i guarantee might be coming out is the pencil uh pet gear that 100 percent makes sense as a um as a pet relic to add in there and maybe one or two others i really don't know it's hard to tell we're just going to have to wait and see um yeah these were very generic predictions because i don't have um any idea except for a back to school season and there are not many items in prodigy associated with back to school but we're just going to have to wait and see we may or may not be getting these and like, it may just be a surprise what we get with season uh, 5 of the treasure track. Uh, which may or may not be a back to school season. That's just what I'm predicting. So, what are your thoughts about my predictions for season 5 of the treasure track? What would you like to see in season 5 of the treasure track? Let me know in the comments.